So let's start by saying something. I'm a noob. I have never 3D printed on my own before. The only time I've done it before was at my school, but my friend has printed me things on his Ender 3 Pro. Now, I do enjoy 3D printer channels, and I am subscribed to a couple of them, or maybe one. Uh, Scott Eugen, who I really enjoy his Ender 3 Pro upgrade videos. And I basically am starting this off by saying that so that you guys know that I don't really know what I'm talking about. A couple of times, my friend decided to come over and help me troubleshoot a couple problems, help me figure out what are the problem, and basically the problem started when, basically when I got it. So the first problem I fixed pretty easily, I put the printer too close to the wall, and the build plate couldn't slide all the way back, meaning it would make a really loud rattling noise, and it really scared my brother when it happened the first time. So I figured that issue out, and we got that addressed. And then the next time, um, I did not know that you needed to clean a print bed every couple times, and the bed adhesion was just garbage. So my friend came over, and he asked, hey, how often, when was the last time you cleaned this? And I said, you have to clean it? And he said, uh, yeah. So we grabbed some ice purple alcohol, cleaned it, and, of course, that made it work. Now, the most recent and most annoying one happened recently when it all of a sudden one corner of the bed was not sticking and i didn't realize that was the problem originally so my friend came over again and we were troubleshooting we thought it might be the server having an issue so we tried reinstalling the server on the raspberry pi and we tried selecting the raspberry pi and using it through a sd card and we couldn't figure it out and then he went home that day without us figuring it out. So then the next thing I thought was, oh, maybe there's something stuck in the extruder. For some reason, I thought that would be the reason it would only do it on one side. I am, again, a noob. So I tried to take the uh, extruder unclogging tool and stick it down the extruder, but I let the filament melt, and it melted the extruder unclogger tool in place. So that was really annoying, and I was panicking, thinking I broke my extruder. So I had the bright idea, which actually did work, of taking it downstairs, putting it in the oven on 250 degrees, and warming it up. And it actually did work, because I just took an oven mitt, like two oven mitts, and pulled the piece out. And it actually did release itself, because I basically melted the filament that was gluing it in place. Now this felt amazing. This felt like I just fixed my printer. And of course absolutely did not do anything so i was kind of pissed after that so my friend came over another time and he actually looked at the bed and was like hey dude um is your are your e-steps calibrated and i was like uh how do you do that and what are those so he explained to me that that's the amount of like filament that comes out so that it comes out the right amount and a ton of it doesn't come out at once and basically we did calibrate the e-steps. It took like 20 minutes. We watched a YouTube video that I will link in the top right. And it basically worked decent. It wasn't the easiest thing to do because you have to like have a, mil a mi millimeter ruler. And in the U.S., that's not very common because everything's set in metric, which is better. But at least for people in the U.S., it's harder to understand. Like, when I think of 40 degrees, I automatically think, oh, wow, that's, like, kind of cold, but kind of warm. But most people would think, oh, wow, that's pretty warm, because that's, because in America, 212 degrees is boiling. But in Celsius, it's 100 degrees, which I really don't understand why America doesn't just use metric and teach kids metric. Anyway, that's off on a tangent. Um, basically, I got the printer partly working, and... That fixed a little bit of the issue, but there was still an issue. So we troubleshooted around a little more, tried fixing some Cura settings, tried fixing a bunch of different things, and in the end, we came to one simple, stupid, mis 
I guess, misconception for, on my part. Yeah, the bed wasn't level. I don't know how we didn't think of it earlier. I don't know if he thought I would have thought of that or if he didn't think of it either. But basically, we realized the bed was not level at all. So I've tried leveling the bed, and I think it's working now. It produced a couple decent prints, but it really, the bed just, we were just trying to get it level all the time. Because if the bed isn't level, then it'll slide and it won't adhere correctly to the bed. And then if it's sliding and moving around, then it can't put it in the right place. And it turns out looking like this thing. Now, I have tried to level the bed. Um, I do use the CR Touch. And apparently, it's not built into Cura to actually use the CR Touch before you start a build plate. So I tried to add in that code that I saw somewhere. And I did do a little bit. So again, hopefully it's been working. But you might also be wondering, why haven't you been sinking so much time into this? Like, honestly, I probably would have if I didn't have other things in my mind. I have this channel. I have school. I have algebra, which is basically for a seventh grader doing ninth grade math, it's not easy. And then I also have other things like home and just having a life. Not that I have one, but basically I have been working on other things and I really hope that they will help accelerate this channel because I really want to get this channel growing and get this thing up off its feet. As you might have seen, I did order one of the new MacBook Pros, and I will have like 50 videos on that out soon. It's supposed to arrive February 1st through 3rd, so let's hope it's the first. And let's also hope I'm home while it gets arrived so we can sign for it and it doesn't have to wait another day. Because I was so worried that was going to happen on my phone. For those of you who don't know, if you order something, the person who is sending it to you can require you to sign for it to prove that you got it and if you can't don't sign for it they won't leave it there so they did that with my phone and we were going out to lunch or lunch we were going out to dinner that night and it came like a half an hour before we went to dinner but i was so scared that it was going to come while we were at dinner and i was going to miss it and have to wait another day but luckily that didn't happen i'm just going to try and make sure my family doesn't go out to dinner that night Anyway, this has been a long tangent, but if you do want to see the full review on that when I get it fixed, scroll down, smack that subscribe button, smack the bell so you don't miss it, and I'll catch you in the next video.